is Terry Lynn. I'd like to welcome you to my brand new internet talk show, Behind the Sound. This show is designed to bring you up close and personal to the people that are creating today's music that you hear. So get ready. We're going to go Behind the Sound. I'm very excited about today's show. I have a couple of great artists that are going to perform for you. So let's get going. My first guest is Mr. Sam Hunter. Welcome to the show, Sam. Glad to have you with me. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Sam is a um, fantastic songwriter, musician. Sam, you're not just the average guitar picker here in town. I see a lot of styles and things and flavor in your music. How did you get started playing guitar? It really all started um, back when I was four. Um, I, my parents asked me, you know, is there an instrument you'd like to play? And so I said drums. And, um, and so I did that for a while. I did that till I was about seven. And then I took, um, I took a couple of guitar lessons. I just kind of got pulled towards the guitar. So I guess you could say I'm kind of self-taught. I understand that you play quite a few instruments. What all do you play? Well, I play, um, I play guitar, bass, drums, and, uh, and a little bit of keys. A little bit of keys. He's so humble. <laughs> I have seen you perform many types of music. And I'd like to know, uh, what were your influences? Well, um, my biggest influence, um, you know, would probably be the Beatles. Because that's my favorite band of all time. I just love them. I really like Chicago, the Allman Brothers, the Kinks. Any band from the 60s and early 70s, is that's what I listen to. The music that you've been performing, I actually hear a little Beatlesque thing going on in a few things there. You've recently started doing quite a few sessions in town and you've played on stage with various performers. Uh, who are some of the people that you've played with recently? Recently I did a session for, um, for Tanya Harding, which, uh, which, was, which was a lot of fun. She's, she's really nice. I've also played on stage with uh, you know, people like Jonelle Mosser and um, Vicki Carrico and, and the Jordan Ayers actually, which is a lot of fun. You're going to come out with a CD of your own before long, aren't you, Sam? Yeah, um, actually, uh, Bob Babbitt, he agreed to uh, co-produce about three songs, so we're, so we're not sure what we're going to do with that yet, but um, I don't know, just getting to work with him will be fun. Sam, I understand that there are a couple of new books that are out that uh, both of the writers have put you in them. We've got Mr. Bob Babbitt and Victor Wooten's books. Can you tell us a little bit about how you came to know both of these gentlemen? Well, I met Bob um, first. I saw standing in the shadows of Motown, and so I, I gave him a call, and I and I just bugged him, you know, week after week, just you know, you need to give me a lesson. So finally, we got together, and uh, and then we became really good friends. We've been friends ever since. I met Victor through Reggie Wooten. Reggie got me up at Third and Lindsley uh, to play, and, and Vic happened to be there one night. So um, so I got to meet Vic, and and we've also been friends since then. I understand that you've already gotten a couple of uh, small awards around this town. Can you elaborate on that for me? Yeah, well, um, when I was 12, I, I entered in the uh, Nashville Stars of the Future, and I won first place in that. I also won first place in the uh, Sam Ash Bass Contest when I was like 13. And, and also, I got Songwriter of the Year, too, which was pretty cool. Where could folks come out around town and see you perform? And do you also, don't you have a MySpace site or something where they could go and listen to more of your stuff? My MySpace is, um, you know, www.myspace.com slash Sam Hunter Music. Yeah, you can see me playing um, at the French Quarter Cafe, um, Douglas Corner. More and more folks around town are starting to get on the Sam Hunter train, and he's being pulled in to back up more people than I could stand here and read. I have a long list of the people that Sam's played with, and I think the list is going to get longer and longer. Sam's going to perform one of his songs for us tonight. This one's entitled, Call Me Lonely. you down you only want my love when his can't be found you'll never love me but that don't matter to me
searching the phone Waiting for the sweetest voice I've ever known I'm going nowhere but that's where I wanna be Mr. Sam Hunter, he's an incredible talent. Speaking of incredible talents, I'd like to introduce you to my next guest, 